Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to the Eat Move Rest Kitchen. Yes. So today we're going to be making for you guys something that we've kind of put on the back burner for a little too long, but we really want to share it with you guys because it's one of our staple meals. So when we first went vegan, we made these Buddha bowls or one bowls every night for dinner. No joke, it's what we had where you get everything you need, sweet potatoes, grains, beans, Greens, I mean, these were our lifesavers in transitioning to a vegan diet. Yeah, so our main man, Dr. Gregor <laughs> of nutritionfacts.org, maybe you've heard. If you're in the plant-based community, I'm sure that you have. Oh yeah. He's got his daily dozen. So these are the top 12 foods that he recommends eating on a daily basis, and yes, this bowl is going to incorporate all 12 of Dr. Gregor's daily dozen. Yep. So if you guys are into this macro bowl, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest tribe. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button up in the corner and make sure you've got that bell click to turn on your notifications. Yes, as always, follow Aaron and I on social media, Instagram, <laughs> Pinterest, all over at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik. Leave us some love in the comments. <laughs> Let's get cooking. So the temperature has dropped, but we've got a little bit left of our garden. I just picked us a red sweet pepper to add to the mix as well as some curly kale. So you guys know some of my favorite ingredients are the fresh ones, the raw fruits and veggies. So here we've got super fresh green kale picked straight from our garden as well as a red sweet pepper from our garden and some carrots from our local farmers market. And then you don't really think too often to add fruit to your Buddha bowls but it is nice to have kind of that sweet to go along with the savory. So, Dr. Gregor's Daily Dozen advises to incorporate berries, so we've got blueberries, as well as other fruits, and we chose figs because they're in season and they are so ooey gooey and delicious right now. A couple of years ago, Dusty and I actually got rid of our microwave and replaced it with our range hood, and we have had absolutely no trouble making food quickly without a microwave. So one of our quick tricks is, if you have frozen peas, frozen corn, anything, put it in a strainer and run it under hot water until it thaws. Most frozen veggies are already pre-cooked, so you're good to go. Strainer with the hot water. Okay, you guys, so we are ready to piece together our macro Buddha bowls. Yep. We've got everything prepped and ready to go. So obviously you don't need to have this many ingredients and get this crazy in the kitchen, it can be really time consuming. Yep. But let's say you come home from the grocery store on Sunday night and you're doing your prepping for the week. So yeah. the ideal things to prep and have in bulk quantities in the refrigerator would be things like grains, beans, and starches. Yeah, so the grains, we cook two cups of quinoa. This quinoa is gonna last us probably three or four days and it took us about 15 minutes to rinse and cook up. Same thing with the potatoes. We just popped these in our instant pot. Same thing, I think it took about 12 minutes. And then beans, we usually buy canned and we just rinse them, super simple. Otherwise, you can obviously soak and cook your beans too. Yep, so these are gonna be super great sources of proteins. Quinoa, in fact, is a complete protein. Yep. Beans are fantastic for their iron content. And then our sweet potatoes are going to be a healthy form of a starchy carb. Right. So let's run through the daily dozen list and make sure that we've got all of our boxes checked. So number one are beans. We've got our beans right here. Berries, we went with blueberries. Other fruits, figs are in season and they're so good. Cruciferous vegetables, we have our green kale and our cauliflower. And for greens, kale also passes the test. Other vegetables, we've got a handful. We've got our green peas, our bell pepper, shredded carrots, and sweet corn. And then flax seeds is on the list because they are a fantastic source of your omega-3 fatty acids. So we actually took some whole flax and ground them up. It makes a great topping for any salad or Buddha bowl. Nuts, we actually blended up cashews with a nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, and a touch of turmeric. 
which makes a fantastic, almost cheesy flavored dressing or sauce. And we kind of threw in the avocado as well on the nuts category, even though it's technically a fruit. Spices, as we already said, we incorporated turmeric into our nut cheese. So besides the turmeric, one of our other favorite spices or spice blends to use is curry powder. This makes a great topping for any type of Buddha bowl. And finally, we have our whole grain, which is quinoa. So we know that sweet potatoes and potatoes are not on the Daily Dozen, but they are definitely a lifeline for us. We eat potatoes like it is going out of style. They are so good for you. Like we said, they're the source of healthy carbohydrates that will fuel you and they have tons of fiber so you don't need to worry about carb fear. So if you were counting, you're probably like, that was only 10. I thought this was the Daily Dozen. Well, there is also beverages and exercise, which if you've watched one of our What I Eat in a Day videos or our workout videos, you know that first thing in the morning we do is hydrate with 32 ounces of water and get in our morning workouts. So there you have it, your daily dozen. Let's throw this stuff together and chow down. Okay, so Erin eats her kale raw because she's awesome. I like to steam mine. So I'm gonna throw mine in the steamer for probably about 30 seconds and that's how I'm gonna start my Buddha bowl. guys we are finally done with our dinner <laughs> we ran out of daylight so we're under the lights now we are stoked about the food we're super excited about having it not only tonight but for the next three or four days so again batch cooking is key to success on any diet let alone a vegan diet so we <laughs> amen hope you, yeah we hope you guys enjoy this recipe i know you'll enjoy the food if you're unfamiliar check out dr gregor and his daily dozen app We'll put a link in the description below. Another bonus is that this also incorporates our top seven foods that we consider superfoods. So we're gonna put a link to that video below. That one's super popular. Yep. Watch that, enjoy. We're gonna enjoy these bowls. And if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam, turn on that bell for notifications, and as always, leave us some love in the comments <laughs> below. Let us know what you thought. Yep, share it with friends and follow Aaron and I on all forms of social media at DB Stanzik, at Aaron Stanzik. In the meantime, eat, move, rest, your, your best. best. Bye, guys. <laughs>